now and we are looking at rain and snow moving across the area. This little area of white here is an indication to us of some snow that's trying to move through Butler County up towards Armstrong. But as you get south of that, we're seeing light rain. So this is a sign that some warmer air is trying to move in here, although this moisture is bumping up into those chillier temperatures that we had through a good chunk of the day. So Butler seeing a few light flakes as you get down into northern parts of Westmoreland County. That's where we're starting to see that transition over to rain. And as you get south of that into Washington, into Greene County, so Waynesburg back into Uniontown, some light showers possible here. Then as you get up those ridges, I think those temperatures are going to be pretty much cold enough tonight where any precipitation you see is going to fall as snow or rain snow mix. We have the clouds right now downtown, 40 degrees with the winds out of the east northeast at six miles per hour. So that light wind going on right now. 41 was our high today, our low this morning 29. So we were still cooler than average. But tomorrow I think we're going to bump those temperatures back up to average. And then as we go through the week, we're going to see temperatures well above that point. 40 right now, Pittsburgh, 36 Cranberry into Butler, even 30 in Franklin. So up along I-80, these temperatures are closer to freezing, which is 32 degrees, much like Deep Creek as you look at 32 degrees there. But as you get south of Pittsburgh, most of the temperatures in the lower 40s. Now zooming out here, you can see those temperatures stay cool through Chicago, Indianapolis and Louisville. But once you get to St. Louis, you see those temperatures bump up to 50 degrees, even warmer beyond that. That's where you see some clearing taking place. The back edge of the clouds are that way as well. And that's where the warm air is coming into play with high pressure. So this system, that's going to zip through here. It's a clipper, so they don't spend much time hanging around. High pressure is going to come in behind that and blow those clouds out through the course of the day. So tomorrow, Clearing skies, lots of sunshine. It's going to feel warmer than the mid 40s that we're going to see on the thermometers. That high pressure continues to work to the east, and that's going to pull in some warmer air still from the south. So as we get Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, pretty much as far as we can forecast, these temperatures are looking to stay well above average. And some showers are going to come into play middle to late next week. But look at these temperatures tomorrow, 46 degrees, 62 on Monday, upper 60s Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday 64 so we have a nice stretch of some spring like weather on the way got to get through tonight first 33 at midnight areas of rain and snow tomorrow morning those temperatures are going to be down into the upper 20s however the clouds are going to start to decrease tomorrow morning into the afternoon we're looking at mostly sunny skies 46 degrees much warmer than what we've had the past couple of days but that's going to be the coolest looking number we have here on the forecast so mid 40s tomorrow clearing skies you're looking at the low 60s come Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, upper 60s, partly cloudy into Wednesday. A good chunk of the day is going to be dry into the afternoon and evening is when we're expecting some showers. Looking at your four day forecast plus four more days, we're going to see those temperatures here uh, go down a little bit on Friday, but bounce right back next weekend when the time change is supposed to take place. So not only is our weather springing ahead, but our clocks are going to be springing ahead soon as well. That looks great. A great. Bit, a bit.